Well, it's Mommy Mondays in our loft today, and it's time for us to give some much-needed advice to all the moms out there. Now, hair plays a very big part in having a positive self-image and even our issues around identity. For most parents with curly-haired babies, I'm sure you can kind of understand this, managing their child's hair can be a very difficult task. Not caring for your child's hair and scalp correctly could easily lead to long-term damage. And of course, it can be quite an expensive and lengthy process to reverse the harm that is caused later on in life. We chat to Coles and Cuts Kids Salon co-owner Chilidzi Makari about how to best look after your fussy toddler's hair. Chilidzi, so good to have you on the show this morning. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy that there is a now a salon that deals with this. But let's talk about your experience around having kids with more textured hair and how you came to deal with it. So... The salon was actually born out of the many frustrations that I faced with my older daughter, Tala. Yeah. She's five years old and she's got what people would refer to as difficult hair, okay. something I shy away from saying. And um, so I would take her to the hair salon and we'd get there and she'd be overwhelmed. She'd be crying because she's faced with adults and she's hearing blow dryers everywhere. Mm. And as they want to do their ha her hair, they want to blow dry it first. And it hurts to blow dry your hair. Yeah. Or people would say to me, the stylist would say to me, why don't you put uh, some relaxer on and make it soft so that it, you know, it's more manageable? And I thought to myself, why must I harm my child's scalp yeah. to make your job easier? Yeah. There must be a better way to do this. Other hair salons would charge us double the price because it would take us about six hours to do six cornrows. So it really was really daunting for her. She was filled with anxiety every time um, we had to do this. But she really loved, loved the outcome after the hair was done. Mm. But getting it done was such a mission. Yeah. So the thought was, we need something better. We need something. So we need an environment where the child is not daunted. So the colors must be fun. The environment must be welcoming. It must be calming. And the child must look forward to it. And over and above that, it must not hurt to do your hair. Yeah. Because when it hurts to do your hair, you don't want to do it. Exactly. You don't exactly. identify with it. Yeah. You don't yeah. love it. Yeah. So this is what led to... Yeah. Where was I Coles said. and Cuts when I was growing up? You would have been amazing, <laughs> gosh. Uh, what are some of the, the do's? What, what are parents doing wrong, you know, when it comes to their kids' hair? I remember watching an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians where Kim Kardashian actually went to someone to help her understand her daughter Nort's hair mm. because naturally <coughs> coming from a background of never having to worry and now having curlier hair, what are things that parents are not understanding? So I think the biggest um, thing that we do wrong is plaiting dry hair. Yeah. You plait wet hair. Naturally, it will be softer and yeah. easier to manage yeah. if it's wet. Another thing, another big thing that we do is um, putting hair food mm. on dry hair. Okay. The hair is dry. It's not going to absorb anything. Exactly. You're just greasing it up when you put hair food on yeah. it. So those are the two biggest things that I realized after having uh, come up with the hair salon that yeah. this is what we're doing wrong. Um, from such a long time ago, yeah. you know, everybody applies hair food to dry hair. Exactly. True story. With We're everything making that I know now, lives. it makes no sense. <laughs> when it comes to do's and don'ts, because I'm sure by now every parent wants to know what do I need to do and what should I not do when it comes to my child's hair. So when you wash the child's hair, you mustn't wash it vigorously because hair, so the hair that we have is a follicle, right? And it's got many layers, almost like an onion. Yeah. And when you're, if you vigorously rub an onion, all the layers are coming off. And what you're doing is you're opening up those layers and all of the moisture that's in the hair leaves the hair. Exactly. So what you need to do is you need to do hair or treat hair in such a way that you keep those follicles closed or those yeah. layers closed. Yeah. So when you're washing the hair, you don't rub it vig vigorously. When you're moisturizing it, you don't rub it vig vigorously. Yeah. After you, um, you wash it, when you dry it, you pat dry it. Mm. You don't rub it vi vigorously. Yeah. When you moisturize it, you make sure that the follicle or the layers on the follicle stay closed yeah. at all times. And you moisturize wet hair or damp hair not dry hair. Mm. And after you moisturize, you must seal in the moisture. And how do you seal in the moisture? With oil or with mm. shea butter. Water and oil don't mix. Yeah. So you make sure that you close the follicle yeah. with the oil. Sure. I am loving this. I feel like I need to make notes right now. <laughs> Very quickly before we have to go, yeah. how do we help our children love our hair? Because that's the most important thing to me, is that you need to love the hair that you have. 
How do parents help their kids do that? Okay. So at our salon, we sell books. There's this amazing book that we sell. It's called Mbumi's Magic Beads. Mm. And the point of the book is to make children fall in love with their hair. So this little girl has got cornrows and beads at the, end of, uh, at the ends of her cornrows. Then she shakes her beads and then it transports her to a magical place. Yeah. So I got very excited when I found this book and I took it home to show my daughter. The first question she asked me was, Mommy, was it sore to open the lines? Oh, wow. So what I then realized is the struggles that we have with getting our children to love their hair are very different to the children's struggles. Yes. The children's struggles are practical. Yeah. I'm not going to love my hair if it hurts to do my hair. Yeah. I'm not interested in Bumi's magic trip and all of yeah. that if it's sore to do my hair. So what we need to work hard at or work towards is making sure that when we do the hair, it doesn't hurt. There we go. Then I want to go to the salon. Then yeah. I want to groom my hair. Then I'm going to love my afro. I'm not going to look at Barbie because I like Barbie's hair or the children like yeah. Barbie's hair because it's so smooth exactly. and it's so soft. <laughs> and when you comb it, it's so much easier than yeah. combing their own hair. Yeah. So those are the sort of things that we need to be working on love it. to change how the children feel about their hair. It's all about a positive experience at the end of the exactly. day. Thank you so much to Lizzie Makati, of course, from Coles and Cuts. Palesa, don't you think that was absolutely inspiring? 